No way, it's Brandon. Power to the gamer. Ready to eat for everyone. Just What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You guys know who it is. It's your guy. No way. It's Brandon coming at you guys again with another video for today. How are you guys doing, man? Are you guys doing well? Are you guys doing great? Are you guys doing absolutely stupendously fantastic? As always, guys, we are back right at it with some more Riders Republic. Hopefully, everyone is having a fantastic day, a fantastic week, whenever you guys happen to be watching this. And just so that you guys know, you guys have probably taken notice already. No face cam today because I did not want you guys to get distracted by my ugly mug. I'm ugly and I'm proud. Loader. I'm ugly and I'm proud. Loader. I'm ugly and I'm proud. I am ugly and I'm proud. I'm ugly and I'm proud. Is that what he calls it? So today we are going to have a complete breakdown as to how to not just earn bucks in Riders Republic, but how to earn them as quickly as you can and consistently because your boy has been getting a lot of questions about that. So today, sit down, relax, get comfortable, and buckle up because we are going to just dive right into everything I can possibly tell you guys and teach you guys when it comes to earning bucks in Riders Republic. And if for whatever reason, if you guys just happen to like what you hear and see thus far, consider subscribing to your boy. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So for the first part of this video, I'm going to just simply tell you guys how to earn bucks in pretty much every way possible. But for sure, if you guys happen to know some other way that I just happen to gloss over or a way that I did not mention, please feel free to comment down below. But I think for the most part, I have pretty much written down and I have every single way jotted down to earn bucks in this game. So the first way to earn bucks in this game is by collecting balloons. So every single time you collect a balloon, you will earn 50 bucks. And the second way is by going over to your progress overview and if you guys noticed at the bottom right it says each time you unlock a reward you will also receive a pack of bucks so for those of you guys that are still grinding out stars and simply trying to get to your 7000 star golden smoke pack you should be receiving a pack of bucks every single time you achieve a new tier along your progress as the bottom right would suggest the third way to earn bucks is by completing sponsor contracts because as you guys may or may not know, some of these sponsor rewards are actually, look at this, some bucks. So typically in this game, you only receive the reward from a rank once you achieve getting to the following rank. So just as I said, you will receive 1000 bucks once you get to rank three and then you will receive another 1000 bucks once you get to rank four. And something to also note, Riders Republic can be kind of finicky sometimes in terms of bugs and just sometimes rewards not being very consistent in terms of knowing when you've earned a reward. So just as a quick example, for this specific sponsor, I was at rank 17 and I was only one contract away from getting to rank 18, thus earning 1000 bucks from the rank 17 reward. So I decided to go ahead and complete the contract at the bottom right, which is complete different user created events. I was at four out of five. So once I completed that event, so you guys might take into notice that at the bottom right hand side of the screen, I did not get a you earned bucks notification, but I did get some star stuff. And I also got the notification saying that I completed the contract, but nothing to suggest that I earned my bucks reward. I did earn those bucks, but for some reason, uh, Ubisoft, I don't know if they just didn't notice this, but you should be getting some kind of bucks notification, but in case you don't, you just kind of have to pay attention to how much bucks you had before you completed a contract. But all rest assured, the bucks automatically go into your inventory, whether you see that notification or not. But just in case you guys are like, oh, wait a second, I didn't see that bucks notification after I completed my contract, rest assured, you got the bucks, but just 
the nature of Writers Republic right now, sometimes Ubisoft, uh, you know, they come out with an update, but then it kind of breaks something else. So just wanted to make that quick disclaimer. The first three ways to unlock bucks that I have just shared with you guys, I consider those limited. Limited as in for collecting balloons, you stop earning bucks from collecting balloons once you've found all 500 balloons. Because as you guys may or may not know, there are only 500 balloons on the map in the world, right? And similar situation with the progress. So once you reach the Golden Smoke Pack, tier 22 out of 22, you will no longer be earning bucks for every single time you achieve a new reward. Thirdly, with the sponsor contracts, once you rank max, you will no longer be able to earn bucks by completing the contracts. You will only be able to earn stars by completing the contract. So even though, for example, for Solomon, I am at rank max, I can still earn one star by completing the contracts. So that is why I classify the first three methods of earning bucks as limited, because eventually these three methods will be obsolete and they will run out of buck rewards. So now the next set of methods I consider to be unlimited and then I will be getting into that eventually, but the next method are sponsor completion bonuses. So as you guys can probably see at the top of the screen in green, it says completion bonus. And then it says complete three sponsor contracts, 1000 bucks checked off. And then the last two to the right, complete six sponsor contracts, 1000 bucks, not checked off yet. Complete nine sponsor contracts, 1000 bucks, not checked off yet. So just in case you guys have not noticed this or in case it wasn't self-explanatory, I get it. Sometimes people just need something to be explained to them. Not everyone notices it. You know what I'm saying? It's not obvious to everybody. So that is why I'm here to let you guys know. So essentially every single time you complete three sponsor contracts, you will get to the first tier of the bonus. And then once you complete another three contracts, you will have the second tier checked off and then you will earn another 1000 bucks. And then once you complete another three contracts, you will have the complete nine sponsor contracts checked off and then you will get another 1000. So you guys might notice that to the left of all that stuff, you see a reset timer. So that timer refers to the contracts to the right hand side of the screen being reset within about 17 hours. And that also refers to the completion bonuses being reset. So that's what that reset timer is for. It's not just for the contracts, it is also for the completion bonuses. So that is why I deem this as an unlimited way to earn bucks because this is not limited in the sense that it caps out at a certain level. This resets every single day. So the contracts reset every single day and the completion bonuses reset every single day. So for example, if I had gotten to complete nine sponsor contracts today, once I wait about another 17 hours, all of those check marks will be gone. So then I can complete another nine contracts to earn another 9,000 bucks. So you can pretty much guarantee 3,000 bucks every single day if you decided to hop on and then complete three contracts for Prada, three contracts for Resignal, Rossignal, pardon, I don't know how to pronounce this one, and then another three contracts for Solomon. And now another way is to fill up your XP bars. Now, when it comes to the progress career, first you can look to the right hand side, just in case no one ever noticed it, but to the right hand side, it says when completing any type of event from a career, you will get XP feeding the career level. When leveling up, you will unlock new events for that career and new gear or buck. So essentially every single time you fill up that, that XP bar, you will get either gear, which are bikes, snowboards, rocket wings, etc., or the bucks. And just below that, you can also earn bucks by completing a big or boss event, but that only happens one time. So you cannot keep completing and finishing those big boss events and still keep earning bucks. That is just a one time offer. But what some of you may or may not know is that once you do hit level 50, you can still earn gear, right? So for example, the snow tricks event. So for the snow tricks event, once you hit level 50, you can still keep filling up that bar and still earn gear. So there are still more snowboards to be unlocked, 
And obviously, between unlocking those snowboards, you will receive bucks. But eventually, you will end up running out of snowboards to unlock. So then every single time you fill up that XP bar, you will only be earning bucks. So anywhere between 2,000, 4,000, about 5,000, and that is unlimited. So even though I am at level 50 and I have unlocked every single snowboard for the Snow Tricks event, I can only earn bucks now, and I can keep earning bucks as many times as I want as long as I fill up that bar. Now, another way to earn bucks in this game is by playing some multiplayer competition. So, but for this specific method of earning bucks, 5,000 can be a lot, but um, this one, I would say is not for everybody because you kind of have to play well to keep ranking up your weekly XP levels and division levels for Trix Battle. And not everybody is going to have the patience and the skill set to just keep grinding through your division levels and then getting the 5,000 bucks rewards. So I think that your time is generally much better spent doing some of the other methods that I have mentioned already. And very soon I'm gonna get to uh, a combination of ways where you can one, maximize your time and bucks earnage. But you can earn bucks by playing Tricks Battle. It just takes a little longer to earn bucks when you play Tricks Battle, especially if you're going up against teams that are really good and it's taking a little longer than you want it to to get up in division. But these options are still here. And then same thing for the free-for-all events. But just as I said, uh, there there is a level of skill when it comes to playing in multiplayer like this. So, But just as I said earlier, if you don't wanna waste your time trying to play well in multiplayer and you don't wanna be stressing about how much time you're spending on the game and just trying to earn bucks, getting top three podium finishes, whatever. I would stay away from these, but just as I said, this is for sure an option for those of you guys that just love to play multiplayer. You can still earn bucks when you achieve those completion rewards. Now, the final way that I know of to earn bucks, and this one some of you guys may or may not know, and maybe you just never looked into it for whatever reason, at the bottom left-hand side, you will see the options box and then adjacent to that, to the right of it, you will see the Ubisoft Connect. Now, just in case you guys do not have an Ubisoft Connect yet, highly recommend making one right now, make, uh, make the account, whatever it is that you have to do because this is a crucial one. And I would imagine that not too many of you know about this at all, but this is a steal right here. So once you guys go into Ubisoft Connect, I'm doing this on my Xbox console and there is an Ubisoft Connect app. And I recommend getting the app on the console because then, you know, you don't have to worry about getting the app on your phone and trying to see if everything is syncing. It just works out better if you have the app on your phone. I'm sorry, it, it just works out better if you had the app on your console. But anyway, so you guys should be greeted with the home screen of the games, right? So it says games at the top. And then if you guys have more than one Ubisoft game that you've played, make sure that you guys are highlighting under Writer's Republic because there are rewards, stats, and challenges for every single game. So make sure that you are highlighting Writer's Republic. And now go over to where it says challenges. And then in the challenges, you guys can see, look at that. You got challenges for Writer's Republic. Surprise, surprise. And every single one of these challenges has a reward tied to them. Now only pay attention to the rewards at the bottom left of each challenge. You guys can see about 1500 bucks for each of these challenges or you will see the helicopter tickets and some of them do say about 500 bucks it kind of just depends upon what the challenges are but essentially these are under what are deemed the time limited challenges so these refresh every single week and they're pretty simple challenges you know they're just completing events in certain regions within Riders Republic but essentially these are another unlimited way to earn bucks in Riders Republic and these refresh every single week and then once you complete the challenges you do have to head back into the ubisoft connect app and then claim the rewards so 
If you don't claim them, I believe you will lose them. So do not forget to claim the rewards and just kind of remember if you can to take a mental note to uh, make sure that you check every single week to see if you've already completed some things or if there are some things that you've probably missed because if you go about a few days without looking at the stuff, you will eventually complete some of the challenges without even having to look at them. So you do not have to come into the app and then select which challenges that you want to complete. As long as you have the Ubisoft Connect app and you are signed into all this stuff, you will automatically start earning progress to complete the challenges. And these are just free bucks, baby. I mean, a lot of these are, are just super simple. I mean, if you have a favorite event that you can just play 10 times in a row in, say, Yosemite, I mean, these are just free bucks. You, you can get some of these things done, I swear, within minutes, within minutes. So uh, I know that this stuff is tied to and an application but if you guys are you know that serious about maximizing how how much bucks you can possibly earn definitely definitely i highly recommend getting yourself set up with the ubisoft connect app because these are free bucks outside of what is offered within the game so definitely recommend this stuff right here and just so that you guys know there are no bucks offered in the core challenges and these are limited anyway so don't pay any attention to these only pay attention to the time limited and once you claim these rewards they will automatically be put into your bucks inventory right so just in case you guys didn't know that once you claim them here they should automatically go into your inventory but just in case you guys don't notice a change in your bucks rewards because just as I said, no game is free of glitches and bugs. So if you guys don't see the bucks added to your bucks inventory or total just yet, just go ahead and restart your games, quit out of it, refresh it however you can, and then sign back into Riders Republic. And then you should hopefully notice a significant change of how much bucks you have in your inventories. Now that is pretty much every single way you can earn bucks in Riders Republic. So now I'm going to explain to you guys really kind of the best way to earn the bucks quickly with the combination of things that I have just shared with you guys. So generally when it just comes to earning, whether if it's stars or bucks, I always opt in for playing Red Bull line catchers. So right now, if I'm going to prioritize earning bucks, right? Let's just say this is a brand new day and everything has refreshed, restarted. Now, the first thing that I would do or that I would really pay attention to are the sponsors. Now, whether if they are rank maxed out already or if there are sponsors that, that you have yet to complete. Now, I'm going to prioritize sponsors that have contracts that would, or that could be completed just by playing Red Bull Line Catcher. So that can be a sponsor that says to earn stars or to perhaps earn a certain amount of points using a snowboard or just to or just to simply complete snowboard trick events or if it says to complete snow events things of that nature or if it says to earn 50,000 points in a single tricks combo and land it with the land sport so you guys really just have to pay attention to which contracts can be done for Red Bull line catcher right so this is just again my example and Red Bull Line Catcher just seems to be a good place to pretty much get every single, well, not, not every single contract done, but for just a lot of contracts. I mean, you can complete events contract, you can do that. Earn stars, you can definitely do that. I'm going to prioritize getting the completion bonuses first. So I'm going to specifically target getting nine sponsor contracts done. As collateral, just as I told you guys earlier, Whenever you're playing Red Bull Line Catcher, you can pretty much fill up your bar, your uh, XP career bar after about maybe like 10-ish, like 15-ish uh, events or like times to play it, if that makes any sort of sense. It kind of just depends upon how well you play. But essentially, while you are trying to get those contracts done, you will be filling up your, your XP bar for, for the Snow Tricks 
career, right? So, so you can pretty much see it as you just trying to grind out the progress career and then having the sponsor contracts as sort of a collateral or vice versa, right? And also, if there happens to be an Ubisoft Connect challenge that says to get snow events done or just complete 10 events or something like that in the Grand Teton, right? Because just as I said, Ubisoft pretty much just, or I'm sorry, Ubisoft Connect pretty much gives you challenges to complete events in just certain regions. So sometimes you will get Ubisoft Connect challenges that simply ask you to complete events in the Grand Tetons. So you got a Grand Teton challenge, you got contracts from the sponsors, so those, those contract completion bonuses, and you have the XP bar, right? So that is pretty much killing almost three birds with one stone. And then also as essentially a fourth bird, right? If you guys, for for example, have not completed some of the some of the ranks, or if you guys haven't completed some of the some of the sponsors, as in you have not yet achieved rank max. So, for example, for Prada, right? If I still haven't earned every single reward from, say, Prada, I can still earn this stuff while I'm focusing on everything else. It is just a matter of what the Prada contract is uh, asking you to do that day. But sometimes some of these contracts will just say earn stars, complete snow events, earn a certain amount of tricks on a snowboard. So my method is essentially a combination of the sponsor rewards, which are essentially these bucks right here, and the sponsor bonuses at the top of the screen, the completion bonuses, and then the combination of the career XP bars, and then Ubisoft Connect. So I prioritize those four things mainly because those are essentially unlimited. So those reset every single day. And I just find my own way to essentially mesh all of those options together. And I usually try to mesh those with Red Bull Line Catcher. And just as I said, you guys can pretty much find your own events to mesh a lot of these things together in. But it but it just seems to me that Red Bull Line Catcher is always the go-to place for earning bucks, getting certain challenges done, getting certain contracts done, and also to earn stars if I haven't meant if I haven't mentioned that enough already. But just as I said, Red Bull Line Catcher is not the end all be all. You guys can definitely modify how you want to maximize your time and earning bucks. I just find Red Bull Line Catcher the most consistent. But anyway, guys, that is going to have to do it for this one. Thank you guys again for watching, man. I greatly appreciate it. If you guys can please like, subscribe, comment, and enjoy the content, that would be absolutely stupendously fantastic as always, guys. And as usual, I will see you in the next one. And I can have first outro.